So from an oil and gas technology centre perspective, we're very keen on improving the efficiency of operations and one of our strategic objectives is to optimise operations and, and bring automation to the industry, something that hasn't been there evident over the, the past few decades. So the opportunity that Safe Infrox brings automation and reduce the reliance on a driller in a well control situation is a really important step in that automation opportunity for the industry. It reduces that reliance on the human factors and the intervention of humans and allows the machine to automate that process and hopefully bring a more efficient uh, process. So I guess the other thing that I think is important from the OGTC is that what we're looking to do is bring technology forward that's of real value and real desire to the industry. We work in sort of solution centres, so we're bringing solutions to industry, and I think it's been important that we've not only worked with the uh, Safe Influx team here, but that Transocean, as a rig uh, contractor and as a potential client, have been engaged in this process to make sure that the requirements of the end user are brought into the technology development and how it interfaces to the rig systems. I think there's there's a, a couple of factors in play here from a efficiency point of view and also from a, a safety perspective. Obviously, well-controlled situations are one of the worst things that can happen in a drilling environment. Uh, significant potential for loss of life and damage to the environment. So trying to make sure that we reduce that likelihood and reduce the occurrence is, is of paramount importance to the industry and therefore something that we're very keen on from an OGTC perspective. And then secondly, it's that whole piece about efficiency. So automation allows us to sort of improve the way that we uh, undertake our operations and brings a lot more control um, to the sort of uh, industry around about how we manage and take away any human uh, errors and human factor uh, occurrences. The important thing here is that we, we recognize that, you know, this is a very young startup organization that literally uh, was only founded a, a year ago. This is their first venture into an operational environment and it's really reassuring to see the progress that they've made in such a short space of time. And it's really important as well, I think, to, to recognize the way that they've been able to integrate this new type of technology into what you would class as a quite old traditional type of rig system. So I think that bodes well for the existing uh, infrastructure of not only the North Sea, but the oil industry in general has a lot of existing older mature rigs that this system can therefore be proven to be working on, as well as its capability to interface seamlessly with new uh, rig systems.